I believe that this act of savagery must be abhorred by every law-abiding citizen. I believe that all of us as a nation should demonstrate our collective rejection of this type of against our children by saying what we know and isolating those who are involved are those who continue to countenance such action. The police is committed to ensure that the perpetrator or perpetrators are brought to justice. Several lines of inquiries were done and we continue to engage in several lines of inquiries because we are committed to ensure that in this matter, whoever is responsible is brought to justice. Every law-abiding citizen need to now come forward and demonstrate in a very public way that we are tired of this type of brutality, the level of violence that we see that are being perpetrated and, I mean, across society. Well, uh, um, inside the school, it's a very somber mood. A lot of the students did not turn up for class this morning, especially the grade two class that the little girl belongs to. We have a lot of representatives from the Ministry of Education and other schools within Portmore, the guidance department, are giving support to the school at this time. We have a lot of crime taking place in Portmore. And the cloud that hung over now is just representing those dark days of Portmore. It is a really sad occasion. It is a artless operations or events that they carry out yesterday to slash a old child and leave her to die. I am wondering if that person has any brother, any sister, or any art at all to carry out such a gruesome hack. I'm appealing to all the schools and residents, parents within the municipality. To be your brother's keeper, look out for the children. Because when someone can go to a school and do something like that, what will happen? But if, it is just time when it will become knocking at other people's door. On Monday afternoon, the police confirmed that they are seeking a woman seen on CCTV footage with Daniel on Roosevelt Avenue. During the devotion at the school on Monday, head of the St. Catherine South Police Division, Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips shared with teachers, parents, Education Minister Favel Williams, and students a conversation he had with Daniel's mother, Sudine Mason. Early last Saturday morning, after the child succumbed to her injuries at the hospital, where she had been taken by a soldier who found her on the street. I spoke to the mother on Saturday. She said, yes, Mr. Phillips, Daniel died at 3 a.m. and she died with teardrops on her face. Phillips related, then issued a charge to the nation. We must not let her teardrops be in vain. Let us work as a community, as a country, to ensure justice is served. Phillips said, adding that the police remain committed to finding the people involved in the gruesome murder. Throughout the devotion, which was attended by Daniel's father, Norval, her mother was inconsolable. She eventually fainted and was taken to the police patrol car, then transported to receive medical attention. However, just before she passed out, Mason told journalists that she was puzzled as to who would want to kill her daughter. Me and nobody not in anything, so I don't know how or what led to this. I, I always watch the news and hear things like this happen to other parents, but I never expected it would happen to me. When I heard that my daughter was missing, I basically walked out of my shoes. I was hoping she would come home with one of her classmates, but then I said no. She wouldn't do that because she has never did that before. My head was all over the place. This was when I heard that she was in the hospital. Minister Williams, in her remarks, urged support for Daniel's family and the school, adding that additional safety measures will be put in place in the hope that something like this will never happen again. 
we should rally around the family and the school. We've already committed to the mom that we stand with her. We know there'll be many unexpected expenses associated with this, and so we're committed to being with her through all of that, William said. We tried to console Daniel's mom. She pointed to the cutest little dog that was laying down in the yard. She said, that is Daniel's dog. He has just been laying there all day. She showed us a sardine can that was right beside the dog. She said he loves sardines but hasn't touched it, Williams related. Meanwhile, Dr. Gail Hudson, chair of the school board, in her remarks said, we are all in mourning. As chairman of the school board, you can imagine how I feel. One of the things we wanted to do was to put ourselves on the map, but not like this. We never knew that we were going to be on the map in this manner. All of you standing here know that as a parent, not one of you plan to bury a child. I extend a big thank you to all the people here. We need your support and continued love. We're asking you respectfully not to make this a nine day wonder. I heard the minister said they're planning to cover the front of the school with cameras. Myself, the member of parliament and councillor had a discussion and we're going to cover the entire school compound. We're going to drive that process throughout the municipality. We started in some of the primary schools in Portmore. Some of them already have cameras. We're going to now look at the ones that don't have and to send the information to you so we can cover these primary schools that don't have cameras. We can't bring her back to life, but we can protect others. Today, Prime Minister Andrew Holness described Daniel's murder as deeply disturbing and barbaric. Anyone who has any information or knowledge of this incident should immediately inform the police. We cannot be silent or protect those responsible for this gruesome act. The society cannot surrender to wanton violence and we must be unequivocal when violence is directed against our children, he said. Holness also said he has directed that all the necessary investigative resources must be mobilized to bring the perpetrator to justice. Additionally, he said he has instructed the education minister to have all schools review their safety and security policy to ensure that the policies and procedures are being effectively practiced. The education minister issued a statement saying that steps have been taken throughout the regional office, guidance and counseling unit, as well as a safety and security unit to determine whether there were breaches of the ministry's established protocols regarding safety. According to the ministry, the school employs three regular watchmen and two additional workers as relief watchmen. The Jamaica Observer was told that the police have interrogated the watchman who was on duty at the time of the abduction. So I'm just going to comment the things that were read in the news and I am so shocked as to what happened and my condolences goes out to Daniel and her family at this time. So we want to know what really happened when this when the school is over what is the protocol what is the practice to keep the children safe because th this is what i'm used to because i can't correlate it to anything other than what i'm used to when i go to pick up my kids when they were younger you would um, drive up and of course the teacher will be there with the kids right the teacher of course knows the parents if there's anything out of ordinary that someone else is picking up a child, you have to communicate that information to the school beforehand, right? And the, you would, of course, pick up your child and drive along. If you're, say, if you're not driving, there is another section where you pick up the kids. Designated areas for picking up. The other method is they have numbers and they would call the numbers and then the parents step forward and you get the child after you've given the number because the teachers try to familiarize themselves with parents, right? To ensure that they're giving the right child to the right parent, they put certain things in, they look you in the eye to make sure that this is indeed, say, Daniel's mother. Not release the kids unless the parent is there and they will investigate to find out if the ministries, procedures, and protocols were followed. 
they have a hired three watchmen, so security for the school, they're paid. So what really happened? How did this child leave the school compound? Did the stranger enter into the school um, premises? Because that's another thing. Only parents are allowed to come into the school, parents and caregivers that are picking up children. So how do you get someone wandering into the school or hanging out outside of the school? That would be a red flag if you see someone hanging out out there. So they're going to investigate. Another thing is cameras. I am so surprised to know that CCTV cameras are not in majority of the schools. Some schools have and some don't. And now you hear the ministry said they will put the CCTV cameras at the front of Brayton Primary. The, the minister, the MP for that area said that they will do it for the back as well. They want the entire school to be monitored. It's really sad that this is like a Monday morning quarterback. Why didn't they think of doing this to protect the children in the first place? They did hire security. So where, where were the security, the three security that are supposed to be in the school pointed out here that they have also questioned the security guard as to what really happened when you know when daniel was abducted really really something that should not have happened right you have to keep the children um safe it says according to the minister the school employs three regular watchmen and two additional workers as relief for watchmen what happened is the mom supposed to go and pick her up or she is she allowed to leave the school premises and walk home can we all see what's going on in jamaica it's not like it was before this is different times right and people are in and out of communities because they're driving more people have cars now so it's like they're harder to track too and there is an unnamed woman said the police is saying that there this is a person of interest and she was seen with the little girl this child was crying when she was found by the jdf soldier right she had tears on her face for what this person did to her they were tears stained on her cheeks when she passed away how heartless how brutal